I was asked on Instagram if I had a favourite master painter, and I don't really have a favourite. However, I did study art history as an extra subject at school, and this is one of the first paintings that we studied in that course, um, because it dated from just before the French Revolution, and this is Jacques-Louis David's Oath of the Horatii, painted in 1784. It hangs in the Louvre. A slight bit of art history. David was trying to draw a parallel between the strength of the Roman Empire and that of the burgeoning French Republic. So here you have the red, white and blue of the tricolour of France. And the story that the painting depicts is that Rome is at war with Albus and they decide to send three soldiers from each of the two cities to fight and settle the war. Here we see the father Horatii giving arms to his three sons, while the three women in the painting, I think one is a girlfriend and two are siblings, but I can't remember exactly the detail of that, are lamenting the human cost to this action. Therefore, we have that juxtaposition of the Stoic putting the Republic first versus the human cost in terms of lives. And as I understand it, the story says that only one Horatii brother survived. But I don't really want to discuss art history. I prefer to discuss the visual elements that are going on in this painting. Strikingly, it's based around single point perspective. So all of the lines of the floor and the wall radiate to a point, and that point is the giving over of those swords, which you'd expect it is the main thrust of the action of the painting. There are rhythms of three going through this painting. There are three arches at the back, there are three brothers, and there are three women. And of course, there are three swords. Around this time, there was still a lot of interest in the golden mean, which is a ratio of roughly 62.8%. And because this ratio is found all through nature, such as the growth of snail shells, it provides a natural balance and it was thought to have magical properties. Here in the strong pink lines, you see the main ratio across the canvas. And then in the darker lines, I've done a secondary golden ratio based off applying that same ratio to each of the four corners. And I've only indicated the inner of those lines. Interesting how the tops of the pillars are horizontally aligned to the secondary golden mean. On the primary golden mean, you've got the tops of the male heads. On the other horizontal golden mean, you've got the female heads. On the rightmost main golden mean, you've got the right pillar, which is supporting the back almost of the father Horatii. If we then scribe a golden spiral to this painting, we get focus over the woman comforting the two children. So that's an interesting point, and I wonder whether that was a secondary focal point for David. Maybe he was trying to emphasise the human cost of what was just about to take place in France. Forgive me for putting it into these terms, but this painting was intended to be a contrast between male stoicism or sacrifice and female compassion. And I believe that this is represented pictorially by the curves of the women and the curves of the top of the arches that are being supported by the straight pillars and the upright nature of the male protagonists. And the upright walls, the straight spear, all of those direct A to B paths. Finishing off with a triangular analysis, this is a stable composition with very large bases going through to very upright triangles, even to the female groupings that are more stable than the male groupings. Although the male grouping as a whole does form a very strong solid trapezoid that is sitting very heavily on the canvas. I don't think the diagonal line at the top is a sinister diagonal as such, although it is in the same direction as a sinister diagonal. I think it is really there to contain the viewer's eyes to the main action of the giving out of those arms. I don't think it's serving any other purpose than that than merely containing the eye. Very similar to the spear on the left-hand side, which again I think is stopping the eye from going off the side of the canvas. So there we have 1784, Oath of the Horatii by Jacques-Louis David. More tomorrow.